Hey everyone, Marcus Brown with MLC CAD Systems here, and I wanted to do a quick video based on a Reddit comment I saw. Somebody was asking if there was an image, uh, say of the world for instance, that could be wrapped on a spherical object uh, accurately. And I wanted to show you, this is actually something I did in 2019 when the 3D texture option came out. But I'm going to just draw a half circle, select the center line, and revolve it to create my sphere. Right, real simple. Um, and then the trick here is whether you're using a decal or in this case I'm going to do an appearance. When you go to apply the appearance, simply go to the advanced tab. If it's not already activated, it might be. And then for the shape or the, the, the appearance, just go grab an image. Uh, I put a JPEG on my desktop. It's looking for an appearance file that's pre-made, but you can just grab an image and it'll build and then uh, prompt you to save that appearance file. Now this one was in a weird place, so I wanted to know if I wanted to make that a permanent place. Uh, but fixed width and fixed height under the mapping tab, and you won't see those options if you're not in advanced, but if you do an image that is a rectangular projection of some kind, like a Mercator projection, and then you pick that face, it'll it'll do a really good job, and you can see from the north and south poles that it's perfectly uh, applied. But this extra step I'm doing here, this 3D texture, basically you just pick a face, apply a 3D texture, and as long as there's a, a texture on it, it will give it 3D relief, right? So if you're looking to just make a flat globe, a really simple appearance of a, of a globe, um, then you would just use a regular image. For this one, I Googled the word, uh, you know, globe height map or world height map, and it's a black and white image representing uh, elevation based on scans. Usually those come from like NASA or somewhere, some other governmental agency that has that data. And with the 3D texture, you've got some options to kind of adjust the texture refinement, offset distance, and the maximum element size. The texture refinement uh, automatically refines the mesh. This is going to create a mesh model. Refines the mesh where there's a lot of quick changes, so it does a nice job on uh, like sh steep mountain ranges. Uh, but the global refinement refines everything, so it's a little bit of a waste in the area of the oceans because it's so flat. But basically, find something that works for you. When you click OK, what you're going to get is this mostly black or or you know faceted mesh body. The mesh is really, really fine in this case, so if you just change to shaded instead of shaded with edges, it looks a lot better. And depending on the scene and where the lighting is, it, you can see it better in certain scenes than you can in others. I hope you found this tech tip useful. Uh, if you did, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos on tips and tricks in SolidWorks, MasterCam, and MarkForged.